the majesty at your service. Welcome to Fairqueen Talks. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of my podcast, Being Present. It's lovely that you have joined because today I want to talk about being present in a moment. And as you're listening today, I want you to focus on your breathing, your surroundings, and wherever you find yourself physically and mentally. So how are you doing at this moment? How are you feeling inside? What motivated you or led you to take the time to learn more about being present? I really appreciate the time you're taking of your day to use this podcast to tap into your greatness. Because being present is about focusing and enjoying the now. It's about learning about genuine freedom coming from learning to be mindful and present. As much as I love planning for the future and reflecting on the past, there's been a great value I've seen on being self-aware in any given time of the day. It's easy to get stuck into a routine and doing things just because you have to. It's more powerful to really see each experience as a new moment to explore. For example, doing repetitive tasks like waking up, eating food, or walking the dog, which I don't have, can sometimes appear mundane and not interesting. As we become more self-aware and intentional in our lives, we can look at such tasks as new opportunities to explore a part of our day. For example, when we wake up, Instead of just, you know, blindly finding the bathroom, we can just look outside and open the window and take in the air. We can explore new foods instead of eating the boring old cereal every day. And we can change the roots of our walks, whether that is with a dog or going to work. As I'm speaking to you right now, I found a quiet space in my house so that I can truly focus on talking to you. Being present means fully enjoying the moment that you're in. It is the moment when you are calm and you know exactly what you want. You are focused on what you're doing without thinking about anything else. This is when life becomes more real. This year has been good to some and not so good to others. Regardless of what your situation is, the most important thing is the state of your mind and your perspective of how things are. So as you are more present in your life, you will realize what those things will be for you. Your state of mind could be in a good space or could be in a bad space. Being present will allow you to realize where you're at so you know what you should work towards. According to Professor E.L. Winter, in an article on Psychology Today, he explained that our intelligent cognition simply denies the existence of living for the moment, because our mind views time as a continuous and linear process. And because it's continuous, any millisecond before the present moment is already past, and any millisecond later, is already a future. Therefore, living in the moment or being present is not as such living for the millisecond. Rather, it's about actively participating in the tasks or conversations you're in. Have you ever been on a date with someone and they were on the phone the whole day? I hope not. But if a person was like that and was on the phone the whole Uh, during the whole date, it would mean that they're not present and their importance or what they will focus on is, is their phone, so not you. That could make anyone feel rejected or not wanted, especially on a date, which is not a good space. So now you can imagine that situation. Ask yourself, have I ever not been present whilst I'm at work? or spending time with a loved one? What am I communicating to others with my behavior and actions when I'm not present? 
It's so much easier to look at others for not being present and so much harder to holding ourselves accountable for not being present. It's okay if you've not been present in previous moments in your life. We all need to confront our negative behaviors if we are to become the best versions of ourselves. We all need to face ourselves in the mirror if we want to self-reflect. And we all need to work on being better and being more present. As I speak to you right now, I am fully engaged in thought and have you in mind. Wherever you are in the world and whether things are bad or good in your life, I want to leave you with some tips that will allow you to be more present after this podcast ends and truly see your life for what it is and be more intentional so that you can exist in happiness every single day. The following four tips have been taken from a blog called The Peaceful Mind, Peaceful Life. So tip number one, find moments to connect with yourself. Having a strong foundation with yourself sets you up for success with everything you do. By taking a few moments to come home to you, you're reconnecting and connecting with your inner guidance system that leads you throughout your day, keeping you aware of the things that truly matter to you and being mindful of where you place your attention. When you connect with yourself, you are cultivating a deep sense of awareness that is crucial for living in the present moment. I connect to myself when I get a quiet moment when everyone is asleep in my house. And I feel so much inspiration in those moments. And when I have those inspiration, I write it down or I just act upon it. And that's how I feel connected to myself when I am completely alone. Tip number two, eliminate multitasking. Multitasking is ingrained in our minds as a necessary thing. But truthfully, this is a sur- surefire way to take you out of the present moment and into a chaos of the mind by doing too many things at once. Society glorifies the notion of busyness, so we need to challenge these questions for ourselves. When you do have one thing at a time and give everything you have to the person or task at hand, you are focused, more productive, and therefore more efficient. Trust that everything will get done and you will feel less stressed and make fewer mistakes. I like the song by Whitney Houston that goes step by step, brick by brick. When you focus on what you're doing instead of what you should be doing, you will definitely become more efficient. Tip number three, be with the people you are with. Relating with other people is one of the most rewarding ways to spend our time. When you are with others, be with them. Look them in the eye during conversations. Listen to the words being spoken and feel engaged in the moment. When we are present to our loved ones, we create a deeper relationship and the meaningful connection that we so desire. I notice that when I am listening to understand rather than to respond, I deepen my relationship with those I'm speaking with. And last tip, number four, limit time on electronics. Now I know you're listening to this podcast, which counts as electronics, but I promise you that I do my best to keep my podcast short enough to not steal away too much time from you, but long enough to get my points across and give you true value. Setting limits and boundaries on how much time you'll spend on your phone or computer, well, laptop or tablets, give your eyes a rest from screens and allow yourself to take in your surroundings. So as you've listened today, I truly hope that you found something useful. And I promise you that as you are more present in your day, that you'll find more joy out of doing the things that you have to do each day and truly live your best life. At the end, 
end of each episode, I address the queendom. Being present is about actively participating in your lived experience as it's happening. Connect to yourself. Focus on the task at hand. Be with the people you are with. Limit your time on electronics. Thank you so much for listening to Fair Queen Talks. See you next time.